Hello and welcome. So, not that long ago, I was looking around Kickstarter and uh, I found this interesting product called uh, Deerbuds SE. I mean, it looks interesting, okay, believe me. It has quite the wild claims on its thumbnail. Apparently, it's um, CES 2022 on RE. Uh, and well, it's also accelerated by Samsung, whatever that means. So I look at it and I go, okay, that seems interesting. And well, all right, they raised their goal. Cool, maybe it's actually good. And well, then I watched the video and it's well, interesting. All right, so we start off with this woman trying very, very hard to look distressed. And then a few seconds later, we see a guy who looks like Mark Zuckerberg mixed with Marcus from Detroit Become Human. Very cool reference there, length face. Okay, the idea of an earplug that lowers the humidity of your ears might be good. I didn't say it's good or bad, it might be good. I just have one question. Why should you waste $120 on a product which is literally just used to do one thing instead of getting a hairdryer to clean your ears or just use a cotton bud or a q-tip or whatever? You don't need to waste that much money to dry your ears. Okay, okay, I've never seen a man being happier about the statistics of his ear humidity. The only time I was as happy as this guy was when I got my first prostate exam. Ow. CES oh. Innovation award-winning technology for three consecutive years. Wait, did they really get these awards or is it just a big lie? Well, I checked it and uh, yeah, apparently they were featured, but only for the 2022 one, with no mentions of them winning anything in 2021 or 2020. The latest product by Linkface. Protect your ears from excess humidity. Quicker. Safer. And smarter. Wow! And they showed this guy again. What, did they, did they really run out of footage or something? Like, I don't get why they're showing him twice. The world's first wearable ear care device. Dear Buds SE. Have you ever felt itchiness or discomfort from excessive humidity? This is the same guy as the one who was previously saying, wow, in the video. Also, I love how they put glasses on him uh, to pretend that he's not the same man as the one we've seen before. Long showers, overuse of earbuds and aquatic sports can all cause our ear humidity levels to spike to uncomfortable levels. Dear Buds is smart care for your ear humidity and temperature levels with quicker, safer, dehumidifying features for a happier, healthier ear. Try Dear Buds today. Dear Buds gathers data from inside and outside your ears, then uses light, heat, and air circulation to create airflow. Okay, please. I want to know how this works. As far as I can see, it has a fan which is probably used to dry your ears, apparently. And I'm not complaining, but I just want to see how it emits light, heat, and air circulation. You know? Okay, then they go on to talk about how cool the product is and they deserve all the praise in the world for stopping ear infections, yada, yada, yada. Okay, now we went through the video. Let's look what I found about this product. Okay, the company. Lengthface 
based in New York. The creator of the company, or at least its representative, is James Fisher. The description follows, Linkface is a company that develops bias signal and wearable devices. As a spin-off company from Samsung Electronics in 2017, our company is made up of engineers who have developed technologies at Samsung Electronics for a very long time. Okay, that's one typo every sentence. I don't think that engineers that worked at Samsung for such a long time can spell. That would be weird. Also, they have a website, which does not work, surprisingly, and is probably an IP grabber. Some guy named James Fisher from New York probably knows where I live now. Okay, he might kill me, but anyway. So, you might already start believing this Fisher guy from New York and he give him his money. But listen, Fisher is not really Fisher, but rather his Kyung Soo Lim from South Korea. There was apparently another Kickstarter campaign before that, which was for normal Deerbots. Not Deerbots SE. I might add. And the thing is that the product was like 300% funded before they cancelled the product and created a new account apparently. Okay, listen, I want Kickstarters to succeed, good Kickstarters, but this one, this is such a suspicious product that I'm starting to get afraid. Well, in other words, James Fisher seems kind of fishy to me. I mean, I want to see what happens next, maybe they will succeed and they will actually ship the product, but right now, who knows?